Hello? Good morning, Felix. Yep. It's Jason Curtis speaking from Cape Town, South Africa. How are you? I'm very good, and yourself? Fine, thanks. Are you all okay to chat for a couple of minutes? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite awake, awake, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'll be gentle then, shall I? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, congratulations on Kiss Cash. Thank you very much. You've heard that more than once, I'm sure, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the response seems to be very good, so uh, we thought this time we were probably due for a kicking from the critics. Well, that, so, that was supposed to happen on the second record, surely? I know, well, we didn't on the second, so we thought... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do they say, what goes around now? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, no, so it's, it's great, I mean, the response has been really cool, and um, so, um, yeah, just... Uh, We'll see what happens with the record, uh, I suppose, in, yeah, in a few months' time. We'll yes. know what the general perception is from the public. Yes. No. It's only been out like a month. Now. True, true. And in that time, as I say, I think um, it, it's, um, I think certainly from, from a South African context as well, I think people have been pleasantly surprised with, you know, with, you know, with its content. I mean, I think it's also early days here, but uh, yeah. um, I, I hate to use the word, but it's, I figure we're all getting older, so I think we're getting wiser. So, in some respects, um, a very well, not a very sophisticated record, because I think each record you know, has been sophisticated in its own right. But it, it's more sophisticated, I think. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's, there's a bit more depth to it, mm. and um, yeah, it's it's, you, it's not as easy just to kind of jump up and down and mm. go insane to. Yeah. 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 And I mean, was that done just because of where you guys were at, or did you sort of make it like no, a conscious? I think so. I, I mean, I think we just, um, we wanted to do, we didn't want to repeat what we'd done before. We felt it was time to move forward, and we weren't sure in which direction. Because mm. um, there, there wasn't really much um, out there that was really inspiring us. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so we thought, well, we've got to do something new, we've got to new, uh, do a new chapter for ourselves as much as mm. anything. Mm. And, uh and so we just shut the studio door and we got on with it and mm. we didn't really know where we were going. We just recorded about 30 tracks. Yeah. And then uh, at the start and then and then worked out what was any good and mm. then had to finish them all off. So. Mm. Mm. Are you surprised at how well it came, you know, how, how well it, 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 it did marry together in the end considering you didn't really have a good idea of what you were going to uh, start off with? Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know that... I mean, I, I suppose the whole thing, in a way, we yeah, we tried to push to to not overthink any of it. Mm. But it's actually quite a thoughtful record as well. Mm. <laughs> it's <was> strange. <laughs> so we kind of uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the process is very strange. Each time I think each time we do an album, album we find it difficult. Yes. Because uh, well, more than anything, trying to express ourselves mm. and, and not and and keep it free expression. Yes. But and not. You, you don't want to monitor yourself too mm. much, but mm. so you want to kind of uh, do something that, that's going to actually fit in the world out there a bit. Because, I mean, that's the fun part of being unknown, isn't it? Because you can pretty much do anything now. You've got yeah, everyone exactly. looking at you. Well, that, I think that's what we did this time. We just did anything at all. Mm. And then after, like, six months, we said, OK, we are known. What's any, what's any use? Yeah, true, true. Uh, and also, as so I say... What, mm -hmm. what will people... What are they more likely to get? Mm. You know. mm, mm. And I think it has to, to, to be honest in the sense that if it makes sense to you first, then well, I think it has to because otherwise, it, you know, I mean, people. That, yeah, I think your 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 fans become more and more well become smarter to what you do, you know, album on album. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can't really sort of you know bullshit them by just putting a record out just for the sake of. No, 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 definitely. Mm. So, um, and we've we've just done a two week tour actually in the UK, so which went really well. So. Um, I'm really pleased with that. It seems like we've kind of, um, we've progressed with the live thing as well. Mm. So it's kind of, um, it's, it's probably we're just one one step nearer being a band. Yes. Um, one step further away from being a show. Yes, yes. I, I think before, we, it was a very good show, it was very entertaining, but it was in a way, it was like a club culture dance show. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which, thankfully, you've sort of, you've, you know, you've grown through it and out of it I suppose you know that yeah. you haven't you, you know that you haven't been bedded in that um, because I think if people were using that as a reference point you would you would be out of business today just because of yeah yeah just the way things are yeah yeah definitely yeah. I mean there's still there's um, 
I mean, there's, there's still a large element of, of dancing. Mm, sure. Of, uh, but uh, but it's yeah, it's not related directly to that culture. No. I mean, we always we always felt it a bit annoying that we were always thrown in with the kind of all the the ecstasy DJs yes. and everything. And it's like, well, we were never that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so I mean, we understood all that, and we've been to raves, but mm. it's kind of we were always about trying to do some music. Yes. I found it a bit annoying that we were always lumped in with with dance music that, that wasn't saying anything at all and was just meaningless sort of mm. like you know it, it was a hit it was yes. high for a minute yes you know and you had to be on drugs <laughs> yeah, no, that's true, and I mean, to, to to get past that, and also to be taken seriously by sort of the mainstream as well, which, you know, um, I mean, the mainstream saying that argue, you know, I mean, that's a big question mark over that, but yeah, to be to be accepted in both cultures and have it work, I think, is even, you know, is even a, a bigger kudos to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because mm. you haven't alienated anyone, which is always nice. I don't think. No, I mean, I, I think there's a there's a few sort of uh, DJ heads mm. who feel like we should have done more banging club tracks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, but we're not we're not worried about that. No. I mean, we decided when we were doing this album that that if we wanted club mixes, we could do. You them. could do them afterwards, sure. Yeah, exactly. You could always do versions that have got a big banging kick and hardly anything in them. Yes. Yes, yeah, true. Keep them happy, and then you haven't yeah. sort of sold your soul to do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. True, true, true. Now, there's this, I mean, I always find it interesting when, you know, when when bands actually get together and, and collaborate with various people. I always see it as sort of being like a, an interview for, you know, someone you're going to share your flat with, you know, and you sort of sit them down yeah, and say, yeah. okay, what are you going to do to my record? <laughs> was, yeah. how, how did it work for you with regards to this record and, and, and getting the people in that you did? Um, well, there was Michelle and Gabby Ocello. She was, she was in London. Well, actually, the first the first guest was probably Lisa from the Bell Yes. Um, um, we we were looking to work with a, a singer, someone different, um, and um, we saw a female rock singer. We thought that'd be really interesting. Mm. So we kind of um, we kind of listened through a CDs of like bands that are around, and um, and then we found one. Someone gave us one of the, the bell rays. Yes. We thought her voice sounded amazing. It really cut through, and mm. and we liked the feel of the music. We felt it kind of we could relate to it. Yes. Um, so we just got in touch, and she was up for sort of um, coming along. So we got her over to England. We flew her over for two days. Nice. Uh, and it was originally to do the track, plug it in. Mm, 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 mm. And um, so we we did a version of that. Uh, which ended up sounding like a kind of diva dance record. Okay. Anastasia and, uh, all over again. Was, yeah, which we really didn't want to do. Mm. And um, so we tried a couple of other things. And then on the second day, it was just like, oh, God, you know, we we haven't got something for the album. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a bit annoying. So, sure. uh, so uh, we thought, okay, let's just write something. Mm. So uh, Simon did a, uh, um, just played a riff, mm. ran around, and... Um, and we were saying, you know, okay, here's a riff then. Can you get into this? She's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And then um, she said, I need it faster. So just got it. It was a tempo she was happy with. And then I just wrote a load of words and mm. just kind of sang them to her line by line. And then she sang it back and then suddenly we had a song. Amazing, yeah. That's normally the best way, isn't it? Yeah, often. When it's, it's yeah, you you panic. <laughs> yeah, you're going, God, we've just, we've just paid for a flight. What are we going to do? Yeah, 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 you... yeah, exactly. You've got to have a reason to do something. Um, and then Michelle and Gaby Ocello, she was in London, she was doing some live shows, and okay. I've been a fan of hers for some time, yes. and, and, uh, and I said to Simon, you know, why don't we just try and get her in, and thankfully she was up for it, so, um, and uh, ended up on two tracks, Stunning, and, and yeah. with Feels Like Home, she was very keen to work on that, and said, could I play some bass on it, and mm. we were like, oh, cool. mm. great. Yeah, because I mean, that, uh, that must be for you as well, I mean, you know, I mean, you you're a fan of, you know, um, of musicians and bands as well, so to have these yeah. people, you know, to work with them and see their process, that must be fun as well. Well, definitely. I mm. mean, with her, yeah, I'd seen her on a stage before and watched a performance and respected what she did. Sure. So it was incredible to be saying, you know, that's good, that's not good. Mm. And kind of, uh, I don't know, but but and just uh, allowing her to do her thing yes. and be there while she does it as well. Yes, you know? yes. So it's just, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously Dizzy, um, I mean the yeah, relationship was there. 
Um, well, we'd, we'd met, we'd um, heard his stuff anyway, um, there was on the underground. Yes. And um, and he just seemed to stand out from the pack of MCs and, mm. and garage producers in the UK. Mm. Um, so we just got in touch. At that stage, he was just thinking of signing to XL. Yes. And um, so he, he kind of, he, he was doing MCing and PAs at Rave. Mm, that's right. Um, I spoke to him last and, week, um, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and um, and that was it really. And so, but we got him in. We thought his voice sounded really interesting, mm. and uh, just yeah, he had he had attitude. He had something to say, mm. and uh, he had intelligence. Yes, yeah. So I mean, which is more than anything, a lot of the M, uh, the M, the garage MC stuff is just kind of you know they they're all just repeating stereotypes mm. and cliches, and, and it's it's a bit boring. Mm. But um, he was actually talking about his life and his real experience, and, you know, not, he didn't seem to be trying to be someone else. Yeah, yeah. Which was great. So, um, so yeah, so we got him in the studio, we played him a few grooves, and then one of them uh, he liked the sound of, and then we talked about a, a, a basic song idea and what the the kind of focus of, of the track would be about. Yes. And, um, yeah, and he wrote some stuff, and, and we just docked it. And there you have a track. And then the the, the yeah. Susie Sue inclusion, I mean, that that must have been fun. I mean, as I say, I mean, I've been uh, a fair friend Well, she's years. actually the only person we didn't meet, so uh, we're still to meet her. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I mean, we did a basic track, um, and it was, well, originally it was called So You Want to Be a Hero. Uh -huh. It was, you know, was all the George Bush, Iraqi situation, that was all kicking off. Yes. Um, and then, um, well, we had a had a basic song, um, and then we just thought to get a punky sort of female vocal would be really good. Someone like Susie Sue, and we were just trying to think of who we knew in the local area who could do that or who could get in, and we just couldn't think of anyone. And Simon said, "Well, you know, we're based with Jack. We should just <laughs> do Susie Sue. It'd be a lot easier." Yeah, true, true. <laughs> uh, so. So we just sent the track and with this basic, very rough basic song over the top. Oh. And, uh, and and then she um, she was up for it and then she sang all over the the track. So mm. there were like loads of vocals. She just sang over the top of the whole thing. Okay. And then just sent it back as a demo. Yeah. And it was and that was plenty. Yeah, it's so fine. She took some of the words and some of the melody and then just... Uh, and it, it seemed to be like a really easy collaboration. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it seemed like we were all on the same wavelength, mm -hmm. but we didn't even meet yet. So uh, amazing, which was really cool. Yeah. So, but I mean, well, we heard that she was into our stuff before, which okay. we never would guess. Yeah. So, uh, which was a, a surprise because we weren't really aware what she was doing nowadays. So yeah. And, um, we just thought, yeah, she was someone from time who had charisma. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and was a well, I suppose a British icon in a, in a way. Yes, true, definitely, definitely. I mean, and and did did you have any anyone that you sort of that came to you rather than you to them? Uh, well, um, JC from N Sync. Mm. Um, that wasn't planned at all. Mm. Uh, but he was in London, and we got a phone call and said JC from N Sync's here. He's interested in you producing something for his next album. Mm. Can he come and see you? Mm. Said, yeah, sure, we're in the studio. So he came down, had a cup of tea, mm. a little chat. And um, and at the time we were working on Plug It In, mm. we said, could you just try it? Because we were trying to work out what kind of voice to have. And yeah. he tried it and he sounded great. And mm. then, uh, I mean, it was quite funny because the whole song, uh, well, the, the last version we had, which yes. is one that he did, was, was all about the notion of masquerade and celebrity. Yes, exactly, his and, line. Uh, and then he's straight bang from the middle of that whole world. Uh, uh. Uh, but uh, but he really kind of understood what we were trying to say and, and I don't know, he, he seemed really cool. He was really humble mm. and, uh, you know, I, I think he ate his humble pie a bit for being in a boy band. Uh, being yes. Like a boy band. Yeah. So we thought, well, that's all right then, you, you know. Come hang with us. We'll give you credit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but as you say, I mean, this, um, I mean, when you listen back to this to this album, I mean, if you do that, <clears throat> I mean, is it is it something that sort of um, it, it, it must be an exciting time because the the possibility that this record shouts um, certainly um, shouts longevity because I mean, there's there's so much. Yeah, you know, each song has got a, 
and uh, it, it had its own little path, really, that it could go down, and you could do an entire album's worth of, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, without it being, without it sounding anything different to, you know, it being a Basement Jacks record. Um, sorry, what do you mean by that? No, I'm saying that there's there's so much personality in each of the tracks that um, yeah. they they're almost um, they stand alone as much as they work as a collective record. But there's yeah. a, you know, there's I can, I can certainly hear a, a lot of possibility even within each of those tracks where you know uh, the next record could even go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like saying you've you've got free reign. You could pretty much choose where you go from here. From yeah, you know, from the fourteen well, we, tracks. Yeah, we, we definitely feel a bit relieved by that. Mm. When we first finished the record, we we hadn't let many people hear anything at all. Mm. So um, it was kind of we were a bit in the dark as to what we'd done, mm. and uh, and we'd we'd kind of purposely probably ignored. Um, people around us mm. from a while just to actually do our own thing properly and kind of forget about people worrying in the fashion and the mm. clubs and mm. saying oh well this is in and that's out and mm. it's like well who cares we're doing some music exactly and you're having fun yeah mm. exactly mm. so um yeah no it's, I mean I, I think at the moment it's still hard to kind of listen to a bit of the album because it gets so um everything's so associated with, with everything else yeah yeah. Um, because well, like good luck. Now we've got we just had a video made, okay. uh, which is which we're really pleased with. Mm -hmm. um, but suddenly that kind of takes on a new life, and then there's the live life of it. Yeah. And then if something comes out of a single, yeah, it, it's actually I think when I can really get into a track is when it's been a hit. Yes. And then disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. and you still kind of hear it on the radio. And yeah. When I really go, that's when I listen to it in a way for the first time. Right. Uh, with with kind of in a relaxed way, mm. so I don't need to worry about anything. True, because it's done. Yeah, it's yeah, found. It's found it's, a home. It's, it's out there and it's on the radio and it's it's done what it's gonna do. Yes, and uh, now it's just there for people. You know. Yeah, it's like the pressure's off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's great because I can just listen to it and say I'm not gonna change anything. Mm, mm, and it's a, it's a long way away from that. Because I mean, it it, yeah, it certainly sounds like you. I mean. You, you give yourselves quite a hard time and obviously have, having you know having each song and each record be the best that it possibly can in your mind because I mean yeah, it, it sounds like you've set yourself goals I suppose to well I mean it's, it's just wanting to create something that's, that's valid and worthwhile I suppose mm. and um, yeah and I, yeah we take it seriously and and, uh, and it's yeah it's uh, we do put our heart and soul into it mm. Yeah, so I suppose as a result, it's kind of a... Well, particularly on this record, I, I, I feel like... Well, I, yeah, I think we've... Well, I've definitely given more on this record, mm, I think. Mm, mm. And, uh, so, which is, yeah, which is more of a risk. It's less to do with what's around. Yes. Or an expression, which is in a way us uh, growing up musically a bit. Mm, mm. Saying, well, we're going to do it, screw you. You know, that's it. And I mean, I think in, as well, you've probably had less places that you would wanted to look for any kind of reference or any kind of indicator where you wanted it to go just because I think for definitely. the most, you yeah. know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But it, a good time to be, to be part, to be one part of two, so, you know, certainly when it comes to Basement Jack. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You've worked hard and, 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 uh, and, it's, and it's going from strength to strength. I think that that certainly shows in the, in the tracks. But uh, as I say, congratulations again and, uh, Thank you. And uh, uh, are you doing anything exciting for for, for Christmas? Or are you just gonna? Uh, I'm just gonna go and see my folks. Lovely. Uh, yes. Just spend some time at home, mm. have a bit of quiet time. And New Year, I'm not sure. I'm, mm. I'm trying to. I was hoping to go to South Africa actually. Okay. There's a to DJ on the the third. Yeah. In Cape Town, um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Oh dear. No, that's a shame. Oh and well. I've got a video to do about a week or a week later or something, and now I've got to be in LA. It's just just seems too rushed. Yeah, but I yeah. really want to go there because it's yeah. a great spot. I can. I, well, I'm, I'm sitting in it at the moment, so I can just so say. Well, can we have. Say it, that it is. It's, it's terrible. No, I mean, we have we have 30 degree temperatures and loads of sunshine. I mean, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but but well, uh, it's, it's nice and cold here. Yes. <laughs> 
Well, you you enjoy that now. <laughs> I will do. But um, Felix, thanks for your time. I really appreciate okay, it. Okay, no worries. And then have a good Christmas, and hopefully we and we yeah, do get yeah. you down. If not in January, maybe in Feb or uh, yeah, sometime yeah. before the summer. No, I'll definitely come down at some stage. So. Superb. I look forward cool. to it. Well, thank you again. All right. Take, okay. Take, take care. Bye bye. Bye.